In this video, I will answer a question I get from many engineers, which is, can you take the PE exam without taking the FE exam first? But before I do that, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting your PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced, whether it was due to a promotion, a salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on. You wanna get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge. But through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything you need to know about the licensing process, including PE exam preparation. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the PE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. In fact, this video was created in response to a comment on a previous video. So let's tackle this common question. Each state acts independently to set its own education experience and residency requirements. States can have widely different requirements in these areas. The important thing here is to always check with your state board. There are states in which you may apply directly for the PE exam without taking the FE exam. If you have at least 12 years of engineering work experience that is acceptable to the PE board, where five of those years you are in responsible charge of engineering work. The National Society of Professional Engineers, also known as NSPE, defines responsible charge as the direct control and personal supervision of engineering work. If you are working in an engineering position after graduation, then you are actively acquiring progressive engineering experience, experience which you can reference 100% when you go to apply for your PE exam. As an example, let's look at the state board in Texas and how their waiver experience works for the FE exam. They state that waivers of exams are not automatically approved. The board will consider waiver requests from individuals meeting specific requirements, so case by case. Waivers may be granted if the applicant provides sufficient evidence of their qualifications through creditable engineering experience and references. An applicant is not eligible to request a waiver of the FE exam if they have failed any FE exam previously within two years. The applicant must report all FE exam failures in any jurisdiction. An applicant is not eligible to request a waiver of the FE exam if they have failed the FE exam three or more times in any jurisdiction. So you can see states do provide some guidelines around this. Texas goes on to list six specific requirements for a waiver application, which include a standard application, an application fee, a letter requesting the waiver, an ethics exam, a supplemental experience record, also known as SER, documenting at least eight years of creditable experience with an accredited degree, ABET, EAC, or an equivalent, or 12 years of creditable experience with a non-accredited degree, non-ABET or EAC. And for their sixth requirement, you need to provide five references from licensed professional engineers supporting that SER. Now, please remember that those requirements are only applicable to the board in Texas, and you absolutely must check with your licensing board on what their requirements are. So, it may not be a short and simple process, but it is possible to receive a PE license without having to take the FE exam. In the description of this video, I will provide some links to websites from which I took some of this information for this video. I hope overall that you found this video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.